So no matter how hard I try, I can't get away from your love. <laughs> Anyways, what's up guys? Get some medic here. So I want to do a video on this because for one, uh, I had not been keeping up with the news on this. And two, uh, there might be a bunch of you who also haven't kept up on the news on this because of how old this series is, at least anime wise. And then considering the news with the manga wasn't something readily ob obvious to like most people because of if you looked on right stuff, you couldn't find it. So I apologize if you can hear that. My mother has decided to do yard work in the morning. And I hope this mic is not that sensitive that it's picking up all of that. Uh, although I hope it's picking up some of it. Or else it just makes it seem like I've paused the video to be random as fuck. Anyways, so the Sekirei manga... Well, actually, let's start with the anime. So the Sekirei anime, which a lot of you should know at this point, because it's been out for, I don't know, like, what? Years. Like, it's, almost, it's probably almost been ten years. Uh, the Sakurai anime is licensed by Funimation, or what I should say was licensed by Funimation. I think it's the beginning of this month, they lost the rights to it. Which means you can't get it on streaming for Funimation now anymore, which, any, to be honest with you, if you have the subscription service, you probably already knew that. But, just in case you didn't have the subscription service, there's no way to stream it legally anymore. Uh, they don't, they can't release any more box sets, so whatever's out on Amazon or Right Stuff right now, once that shipment is done, you can't find it anymore. It seems like the price is still relatively low because Sekere being not only a harem series, but a two season harem series with a fillerish ending, uh, it being old as hell and having three or four variations to it, whether it was the original, you had the save edition for the first season. Pure Engagement Season 2 when that came out. Uh, the DVD Blu-ray combo pack for that. They went back and did a combo pack for both seasons. I think there's a save edition of both seasons at this point. There's a lot of ways you can still get it. And from what I've seen on Amazon at least, the prices are still relatively low for it. So if for some reason you haven't picked up Sekirei in the last almost 10 years, you might want to get on that. Um... Because because I think it's another one of those Aniplex shows. This is the Aniplex takeover. It's like how they lost the rights to FMA, which I think is just FMA. I don't think they've lost the rights. No. It's either FMA or it's FMA Brotherhood. It's one of them. I don't think it's both, but I think it's one of them. I think it might be the Brotherhood. Yeah, I think it's Brotherhood. Brotherhood they lost the rights to. Um, I could be wrong. You can correct me in the comment section below. Um, the point is, this is Aniplex pretty much being like, I'm taking back all those series that we originally owned and only licensed out because we weren't really doing that much stuff over here in the U.S. Now that we are, we're going to put those sites, we're going to probably bring those series and do some stuff with them. Sekere, there's not too much you can do because the only thing they really could get away with doing is like this ridiculous collector's edition but it's an anime series that at this point is super old and everybody who wants to buy it can buy it. Hell, the Funimation variant of it is still cheap online to buy, meaning there wasn't a huge rush to get it because it's been out for so fucking long and it's been so available for so fucking long. So that now is just a series that's just lost. Everyone wants to fucking interrupt me today. So now that series is just another series that'll be eventually lost in the course of time. But right now, it's still readily available, but by the time we hit, like, give it like five or six years, you're not going to be able to find it unless they happen to do a reboot of it or Aniplex happens to put out their own variant. Spoiler alert, if, if Aniplex puts out their own variant, A, it's probably not going to sell a lot because of how old the series is, and B, it's going to be probably way more expensive than it really needs to be due to how old it is and the fact that you've been able to readily get it for how I don't know how long. But the more interesting thing is, is that the anime with its fillerish ending and its loss of continuity and just not adapting arcs that were in the manga because the manga was still going when the anime was going, and the anime never, with the filler ending, just said, well, we're just not going to do any more seasons. So there's a few arcs. Yeah, a decent number of arcs that just completely don't get done because of how they ended the anime and the fact that they didn't want to pick it up and reboot it. Um, so a lot of people have been wanting to buy the manga for Sekirei. 
But as you know, Sekirei's manga has not been available. Like, ever since the first two seasons of the anime came out, you could not buy an English translation of Sekirei manga because no one had licensed the manga. That was back when it was not commonplace for someone to get the light novel or manga variant of the anime that was currently airing. Like, nowadays, that's almost exactly the case for everything. Like, if Crunchyroll, Funimation, Viz... Sentai, someone will pick up the anime license and then like in the same breath you'll hear something about Seven Seas or Yen Press or Viz getting the manga variant of, of the same series. Like, um, I had the name of the series in my mind, I can't think of it. Like, like, um, like I think Haganai's light novel and manga adaptation. Or, uh, this isn't as hard as I'm making it seem like. My Hero Academia. One Punch Man. Um, oh, let's try to not. Let's try to pick up girls. Is it not okay to pick up girls in a dungeon? That name always sticks out to me because of how long it is. Um, even even Oregaru, uh, you know, Montine Romantic Comedy Snafu. We we have the light novel license. Like, granted, that one took a little bit longer than usual. The point I'm making is, you nowadays it's not that uncommon to see the light novel or manga variant of a series get picked up around the same time the anime is coming out for it. But when Segre was coming out, that wasn't really the case. So the manga for a while just wouldn't, you couldn't get it. And I actually didn't know about this because of how low key it was really talked about. You can now get the Segre manga in English. That's not a joke. It's an official translation. It's from, I believe it's Yen Press. Yen Press is doing this, right? Yeah. Yen Press. Yen Press has been releasing the manga. Oh, and spoiler, they've been releasing the manga since like 2015. So it's been out for almost two years. And some of you would go, well, why the hell have you not seen it or why have you talked about it? Well, for one, I don't follow too much of Yen Press's stuff. That's the first problem. And then two, because it's, di it's digital only. That's why. You can't buy it physically. You can go on Amazon and you can buy the Kindle version and buy the digital volumes for Sekirei. Now, Sekirei has been finished for at least, I want to say, two years. I think it ended in 2015, ironically enough. And actually, I think that was perfectly planned. The manga ended and then they finally picked up the rights to release the manga in the States. So, the manga's over. I think it has like somewhere between 15 and 18 volumes. I think it's 18 volumes if I had to... If I was trying to be sure. Because Sekiro, for those who don't know, has been going on since 2004. Holy shit. That, that's, that anime, that, that series is over a decade year old. And was that my fucking point? My point is that you can't actually buy the manga now. You can just only buy it digitally. Which sucks. But, personally, and I know for a lot of anime fans, and especially those who got into Harem, this series is somewhat important to the American fan base because this was like Segari was released during a time in which harem anime hadn't like gotten to the ridiculous status as it is now, where there's almost every season there's a new harem show coming out. Segari was kind of, I wouldn't say pioneered, it was more so like it was just kind of right there at the start of that boom, and in the States, especially. Because obviously Sekiro did really well here, like really well. I remember people. I remember that was like my biggest concern. The first season came out. I watched it. I really enjoyed it. And then I was looking it up online, and people re and like that. This series does a lot. So I know for harem fans and especially American harem fans, Sekiro has a special place in a lot of people's hearts, especially considering how people got mad. It, if you don't want to believe the, the dedication to Sekiro, go look up my. Um, my why Sekiro won't get a season three video. That video still gets comments today, guys. That's insane, dude. It still gets comments. And I made that video years ago. And that was years after the manga had ended. I mean, not manga, after the anime was over. Dude, go look. That's that's the dedication Sekiro has. So if you really want to get an English translation of the manga, and to be fair, digitally, it's very convenient because you can literally read it anywhere. You can put your Kindle I mean, anywhere you can connect to Amazon's, like, Kindle reader. So, I think that'd be your phone, your tablet, your desktop. So, even, I mean, it's a convenient way to have Sekirei. Because, that's also be fair, the translations for Sekirei, I wouldn't call bad. It was just more so, they were so disjointed from when the manga, when the manga variant was coming out. If I remember right, Sekirei was a monthly series. 
Um, and what would happen is like Sekiro would have like a bunch of chapters that'd be out, and like it would take a minute, like a good minute for them to translate the chapters. So it always took a while. Actually, it wasn't. Was it monthly? I do not remember. I didn't start reading the Sekiro manga until like the final arc. It was like the second to final arc, and because of how disjointed the skin relations were for it, you kind of had to remind yourself that, oh yeah, that still has new chapters coming out. Um, so it's a good way, and I think as of right now, they're on volume... Considering this thing has like 18... Well, let me double check how many volumes it actually has. Yeah, it has 18 volumes, and right now, the latest volume I saw was volume 8. So they're like near halfway of the manga currently. When did this one get released? Yeah, Volume 8 just came out in Jan came out last month. It came out January 2017. So that means Volume 9 should be showing up pretty soon too. So they're still releasing it. They've been releasing it since near the end of 2015. Which would be... Ooh, that's not... They're releasing it like every few months. So the next one probably won't come out until like maybe March or April. I'm surprised it's even that slow considering it's digital. Like you would, what, what, I mean, all you're doing is translating at this point. It's not like you have to actually print out the Taka bonds and anything. That that's my inner weave coming out. But uh, and I, I think partially it's because even when I look online, only people know it's out because I didn't know it was out. I didn't know there was digital. There was like Yen Press that released the digital version of Sekere because for one, it was old as shit by the time this was announced slash released, and two. The manga was already over in Japan, meaning we were about to get the scanlations for the final few chapters and for the fan community that has been reading it scanlated this entire time. And now there's barely any incentive to read it on here unless you just like the convenience because the manga's already over. The anime probably won't get rebooted. So it's like, ah, uh, but for me personally, and I haven't started yet, I probably am casually going to start buying the volumes over the course of the next few uh months because for one this is i've this is i would argue this is probably my favorite harem this is probably at very least top three but i'm almost willing to say it's my favorite harem anime in series and considering how much it, it, as far as me as a harem fan it, this is like the series for me so i feel like i want to at least and also digitally just makes it more convenient anyway because then I'm not worrying about spacing and shit. And anytime I want to read it, I can literally just get on the computer and pull up my Amazon account. So that's convenience. Um, but yeah, I just want to let people know because I didn't fucking know about that. And as far as anime is concerned, Aniplex will probably be releasing that. So let me know if, and I guess, uh, I guess to leave a question for this particular video, let's ask this because it is an interesting uh, question. Let's say one or two things happens as far as anime license is concerned. Well, actually, three things. One, would you buy the Sekiro volumes physically if they had the option to be released physically? Two, do you think they'll reboot the series considering anime is... Considering Aniplex for some reason feels like taking back the rights now of all times. So you think there's a possible reboot coming? And three, if there's not... Would you buy a super expensive special edition of Sekiro anime again? Cause let's say, cause let's say that they're not rebooting it, and there's and it's literally just them taking back the license so they can put out their own variant of it. Although, as I said before, it's kind of worthless considering how old the series is and how readily easy it is to read and watch it now. Um, would you buy a super special edition of it? I'm just curious. Um, I think that's all I have. Uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because, for one, I felt like I should have, and I I'm sorry I didn't even keep up with it. Uh, and two. Because it's something interesting that happened, and it, well, that and the anime license just ended like a few weeks ago, so it's still relevant, kind of. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, Patreon, Facebook, Twitter. As people may know, this channel has no ads on it, and ha will has no reason to have ads on it. I don't plan to put ads on it, but I would also like to get to take the ads off. Of my other channels and the way I want people the way I'll do that is if more and more people support the patreon so if you can I appreciate it if you can't it's cool nothing will change for these videos so anyways let's a game with a win and I will catch you guys later <laughs>
boobies for the win. I still don't like that fucking tagline. <laughs> boobies for the win. <laughs> still don't like that fucking tagline. God, it's been how many years and I still don't like that tagline. Christ.